to my camper van conversion series. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed that little intro. It's a little bit different to obviously the van conversion content. It's mainly clips from my travels in the van to the Peak District in Wales. Um, I plan to do some travel vlogs once I've finished kind of releasing the van conversion content. Probably a couple more episodes on the van conversion stuff and then a van tour. Um, and then Peak District travel vlog and then a couple of Wales travel vlogs. So yeah, let's get into the uh, lay on the floor episode of the van conversion. These are the self-adhesive vinyl planks I've chosen for the van. They basically just have a piece of kind of film on the back which you peel off and just stick them down. In this photo you can see I've kind of laid them out so they're not flush up against each other so they're like alternate so I'll have to cut bits off to put on the ends. That just makes it look more continuous so you can't see the lines as much. The planks were really easy to lay. I got them from B&Q for around £15. I needed two packs for my van. Uh, in this clip you can see the alternate laying so that each ends of the plank don't align. This is essential to achieve the seamless look. This is one of the hardest planks to fit in the van. Um, it's next to the cabinet which isn't quite straight because of the curves of the inside of the van. Um, I used a template for this one just to make it a bit easier and make sure that I didn't mess it up. Here are a few photos from the first fix of the floor. It really didn't take too long, just a couple of hours one evening. I've still got the more difficult pieces to lay around the edges and the footwell. I originally cut the ply floor to suit the curve of the plastic step. In reality, this made it much more difficult with the floor edging, so I decided to square off the curves. I then added the final pieces of vinyl blanks to this section. Here I'm trimming the edges of the vinyl blanks ready for the metal edging. I then added the smaller final pieces of vinyl to finish off. In order to get the curved shape in the corner, I used the original flooring as a template. Here's a picture of the floor which is pretty much done, apart from the small section by the bed which I'm laying in this clip. You can see the metal edging placed down roughly where I wanted it. It was just a case of getting it into the right position so it's as square as possible at the corners. To create a 90 degree corner with two pieces of edging but two 45 degree edges against each other, I then screwed the edging directly into the floor. Here I'm adding the edging onto the floor near the cab. 
This should help protect the edges when stepping in and out. Finally, I added the piece of edging to the rear of the van. I got these metal 90 degree edges from B&Q, although I did have to go to a larger store to find this one which was over 90 centimetres so that it was all one piece along the back. So the floor is done now, here are a couple of pictures, I think it gives quite a nice finish. I definitely recommend these vinyl planks as they are really easy to fit. The van isn't far from being done now as you can see from this picture. In the next episode I'll be adding the finishing touches and soft furnishings.